All right, on to lesson six, practice exercise two, where we're going to practice inserting an edge and inserting a point. So we're gonna open up the design insert edge and um, we're gonna edit the form. So uh, here we have the, the file and down here at, in our history, we have the form, edit form. We know we're in edit mode because one, we have the finished form check mark up here and all of our panels are highlighted. I'm going to turn off our canvas and we need to, we're going to insert, we can see when we're not selected here, but we can see we already have one edge here and one edge here, but we want to insert another one uh, kind of halfway up here that follows the, well, point, point 0.5 millimeters to the right of, of this edge. And we want it to follow all the way down the spine. So let's click Modify Insert Edge, which I believe is what they're gonna have us do. Yep, double click on the edge closest to the midline and set the insert distance to minus 0.5. So um, to do that, we are going to select, double click on this guy, which is the most inward edge. Click uh, OK if that pops up. And we're gonna double click here. There it is. Um, I'm not gonna do the object snap, okay? Uh, which I don't think they want us to do. Um, and then insert location is at minus 0.5. And notice that now we have two edges. Or we've inserted, sorry, we've inserted the edges edge closer to our center point. All right. Explore the model and find additional faces that are missing edges. Okay. Not entirely sure what they mean by uh, you know inspect the rest of the model and add an edge. Um, I think that's more of a preference, right? Like whether or not you have a sharp edge or kind of a more curved surface. Um, but if we wanted to add, say, another edge right here, kind of along this part of the body, we will click Modify Insert Edge. We'll double click. It's going to highlight the entire path until it terminates and we'll inset it as well by minus 0.5. So now we have a sharper edge um, or a defined edge, if you will, uh, on this piece. Uh, whereas before, um, it was just a curved surface. So again, I think that comes down to preference. I don't, I don't really understand what they're getting at with find additional faces that are missing edges. All right, select modify insert point and select uh, the two points shown um, and repeat the insert point tool and find the associated faces on the inside of the model and insert point is shown. Okay, so modify insert point here and here. Great, click okay. And modify insert point Got to rotate this guy around and do the same on the inside here. Okay. And you can see that we've now, you know, successfully um, uh, continued our uh, segment or T spline through that panel. Double click the dark black edge on the body near the midline. Okay, that's gonna be the edge that we just moved a couple steps back. Select modify, uncrease. Okay, so we're gonna highlight that guy. Modify, uncrease. Finish the form and review the B rep surface. So we'll click okay. Ah. And we can see that that hard edge that we just made has now been 
smooth out. Finish form. And there we are. Save the design.